Hello my friends and welcome to Paulina Art. Today I bring you a happy painting with two little lovebirds on a tree. If you want to see how I did this pretty and colorful painting, stay with me and let's paint together. Today I'm working on a 9 by 12 canvas board. This was an inexpensive canvas board from the dollar store and I prepare it the night before with a coat of gesso. Now I'm starting this painting with the background done already and my two little lovebirds already traced on the canvas. I'm doing this to save time so this video is not going to be super long but what I did is with a sponge I did the background. I started with my real brown concentrated the color on the middle of the canvas board because I want my birds to really, the colors to really pop. And then I added some of my lime green uh, on the parameters and I ended up with some yellow. Now to trace my birds, I use white tracing paper. If you don't have white tracing paper, what you can do is flip your tracing paper and with white or any light color chalk, you can go around the figures and once all that is covered, you can flip the paper around and trace your birds. This way I can see my birds. I realize that it's hard to buy materials online. It's getting harder and harder. So you can use whatever you have at hand. You can paint this on any surface. You can use watercolor paper. You can use acrylic paper, whatever you have. And if you don't have the colors that I have, just mix your own. All you need are your primary colors plus brown or black and white. Or you can use different colors for these birds. They would look beautiful in any range of colors. Now what I'm going to do is with my white and a round brush, I'm going to paint my birds white, leaving the lines that define the wings and the bird so I don't end up with two white blobs. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back with you. I'm also going to do the branch of the tree. Anything that I have traced, I'm going to paint with white. the description box below in you in case you want to download it it's going to be a link to my facebook page where this pattern is going to be now as you can see i apply the white but i did leave all the lines that define the birds then i know exactly how i'm going to need to paint my birds and the main reason i'm doing this is because Acrylic paint is very translucent and I want my birds to be beautiful and bright and I don't want any of this dark brown showing through. And that's why I put a little bit more on the heads because the heads are going to be in yellows and oranges. So it's the most translucent of the colors. Now while the birds dry, we are going to paint the branches where they're sitting on. As you can see the rest I didn't put a lot of white but just just enough so my colors show true to the colors that I'm going to use. While my birds dry I'm going to do this branch because the branch was the first thing I painted white so it's dry by now. And in order to do the branch I'm going to use just an old round brush and I'm going to pick up some white, some yellow, some brown, 
a little bit of orange maybe I'm gonna start just with these colors a little bit messily like this and I'm going to start applying it like this to create the brunch just to create the effect of a brunch okay my friends I went ahead and painted this bird just to make sure I was showing you the right way on how to paint this bird and I'm really glad I did that because I had a little bumps that I had to figure out so we're ready to paint this bird and it's going to be exactly the same as this one so I'm going to use a number six Medine angle brush you can use a flat brush if you prefer and the way I choose my brush is I make sure I'm going to be able to paint the areas that I need to paint and the way we're going to paint this bird is we're going to start with the bottom wings and we're going to work our way up so the first color I'm using is teal you can use whatever colors you want whatever colors you have I dip my brush into a little bit of medium gel medium then I'm going to pick up my teal at the heel and white at the toe of the brush and I'm going to do we're going to do this we're going to press the brush down like this and we're going to start creating the feathers at the bottom I have loaded my brush the same way this time I'm using look at me blue for the second set of feathers actually I'm going to do this one first because these ones are at the bottom so I'm going to start with the bottom feathers first and now I'm going to do the ones that are coming on top and I'm just pressing my brush I'm overlapping I'm overlapping lines and other feathers just like that I'm going to paint this one too okay doesn't have to be perfect for the next set of feathers I'm using lime green and white and I'm using the same midi number six angle brush and I'm going to do I'm going to paint the feathers the same way I'm pressing my brush to the side like this and I'm sliding down overlapping the wings that I've already done If you went over too much you can clean it up with a little angle brush or flat brush like this for the next set of wings I'm going to use the same colors and now I'm going to do the ones in the center I'm just going to leave these ones up to that point and I'm going to do this ones because these two wings are overlapping I'm just cleaning up here For the feathers 
on the head, I have moved to a Medin number no. five angle brush. It's just a little bit smaller and I, it's gonna work better for the head. I'm gonna move the camera a little bit closer so you can see the head. So I'm gonna start the same way, doing the top ones and then working my way up and overlapping as I'm going. I'm going to do some on the side of the head. The ones around the eye, I have orange on the heel and yellow on the toe. And I'm going to start working my way around the eye. I'm going to clean up a little bit inside the eye. While the eye dries, we're gonna do the beak. For that, I'm gonna use a small round brush and I'm gonna use my apple red. Touching up a little bit the white in here. I'm gonna do inside the eye with my white. Add a little bit of highlight on the beak with white and red. This one too. I think they have a little dark dot in here somewhere. Might be their nose. We're going to paint the inside of the eye black. While that dries, I can add a little bit of red around the eye. Just move your brush, make it look a little bit feathery. While all that dries, we're gonna move to the bird's feet. And I'm using a light gray color that I mix with my white and black. We can add a few little lines. Sometimes bird's feet have lines like that. And we can add the nail at the end. Doesn't have to be too detailed, really. Just some insinuation that the bird claw is there. Maybe a little bit of white in some areas. Now I'm going to add a tatty, tatty white in here just to add a little bit of more of a highlight. A little bit of white in the center of the eye. The eye is the most difficult, trust me. You think it's the easiest part, but it's not. The last thing I'm gonna do is add a little more dimension to the trunk and maybe some leaves. For that, I'm gonna pick up the same round brush that I used to make the tree, and I'm gonna pick up some of the darker brown and maybe add a little bit of, in some areas just to give the tree more dimension. At the bottom, you want the darker at the bottom. You can add a little bit of shadow that maybe the birds are casting on the tree. I'm gonna add some leaves using my beneath Medine brush number six. I have lime green on the heel and yellow at the toe. Now I'm just going to add a, a few leaves. If you want to touch up a little bit, you can just like that. But don't worry too much. You want your paintings to have a nice loose effect to them. One last thing, my friends, if you want to give a little bit of definition to the wings, you can mix a little bit of green with your teal and you can add some 
blending gel and add a little bit of definition to the wings in here. This is only if you want to do that. Just like I did on this one. It has to be very light, blended like this. You don't have any, you don't want to see any strong lines, just like that to add more definition. Okay, my friends, we're coming to an end with this video. It is up to you to add whatever you want to add to your painting, but I think my painting is pretty much done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give me a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you don't want to miss any future content from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.